How's it going guys? In this video, I want to talk about a property of variables and functions that I feel like gets commonly overlooked and that is copies versus references. Now this will probably be a pretty short video because it's a pretty simple concept, but let's just jump right in. I'm in a blank first person template and I've created an actor that I've just named example actor. We'll open that up. All right. And in here, I'm going to create a variable. We'll just make it an integer and we'll just call it age. Now, real quick, just for demonstrating, I'm going to type in F key. Now, a node that you may already be familiar with that I want to talk about is the increment node. So if I drag off of age and I type plus plus, you're going to see we get this macro that's called increment int. Now, I want you to notice that the input on this node is shaped like a diamond. The other thing here is if I compile this, you're going to see that the default value is zero. So what I'm going to do to demonstrate this is copy and paste this variable and add a print string. And then each time we run this, we're going to print out this age variable. Note that we're not printing out from the increment node itself. We're printing out from the age variable. So we're starting out at zero. And then each time I press F, it's going to increment. So let's drag this into the world. And let's make sure that auto receive input is turned on. And when I press F each time, the value of the variable goes up. Now, why am I showing you this? Well, note here that we're setting this variable, but it's being passed into this macro as an input, which is different than how we normally do things in Unreal. Normally, you would expect that you'd have to set this variable and then plug this into here like this, which you could do, but you don't have to do. Now, the reason this is able to work is because of this diamond shaped pin here, which means that this variable is being passed in as a reference rather than a copy. So typically with functions, when we pass variables in, the default method is to pass it in as a copy. So let's just create a function here. And what we'll do for demonstration is we'll make a function that increments the value of an integer by two. So we'll call this inc by two. And we're going to pass in an integer. And we'll just call it value. Now, here's the thing. We can come in here and we can go add and two. But now, how do we set this incoming value? So the absolute worst way that you could do this is to drag in this age variable and do set and do something like this. Because now we have a function that's heavily coupled to this age variable. Anytime we run this function, this age variable is going to get incremented by two. But what if we want to plug something else into here? Well, you might be thinking we could just add a return node. And pass this value out. And if we drag out inc by two, we could do something like get age, pass it in. And then set age. But this is an extra step that we don't need. So in order to do this, what we're going to have to do is use a node called set by ref. And this will allow us to set the incoming value. But here's the thing. As it currently stands, this is a copy. All right. So the variable itself is not actually getting passed into this function, just a copy of its value. If we want to change the variable itself, we have to pass a reference in. And to do that, we can select this input on the function. We can go to the input pin here and click the drop down and we can check this pass by reference value. And now you'll notice that this turns into that diamond shape. So what we can do is we can add to here. We can plug it into the value. And we can plug this input into the set by ref node here. Now, if I compile this and go to the event graph and we can just delete all of this right here. If I run this and I print out age, you'll see that each time I run this, it increments by two. And this is really useful for a variety of reasons. It's great for code cleanliness, as you can tell. And if you were to create a function library to create some utility functions, 
that are general use. This is just a really good way to handle it. Also to a less common use case, but one you might run into is if you needed to call this function from outside of this class and pass in a value from a different class. And yeah, it's really as simple as that. I just wanted to show this because I feel like this doesn't get used as much, but it's a good piece of information to know. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, consider slapping a like on this video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below in the comments, or you can join my discord and message me there. I wish you all the best of luck in your projects.